Hey, welcome to the channel guys. My name is Dan, if you're new. I'm fishing off the island of Oahu in the Hawaiian Island chain. This video is the final video in a three-part series of an eight-hour day of kayak fishing. I'll link the other two episodes at the end of the video. Check it out. out uh, coming through the channel I saw a mysterious school so I dropped on it and picked up one small akuli there a little goggle eye gonna throw that akuli on it's the last bait I've got and I really need to go in but might as well stick them out there <laughs> rainbow runner Might be a shark. That's gonna seem like head bait right there. away from pretty much all the reef, so it should be okay. Stay on. I'm getting pulled pretty fast right now. not fighting straight up and down, or it's got just so much line out right now that uh, it is on the bottom, it's just way out there. Water temperature is 82 degrees. We got my drag tightened down pretty good. wanting to go out to sea. I'm in 200 feet of water now. A bite like this, you pretty much have to just consign that the shark's gonna get it. There's not much you can do. Just play this smart. Oh yeah. That's a shark. That's gotta be a shark.
coming up real easy now. We got it down like 120 feet or something like that. That looks bouncy. This might be a tuna. I'm in 207 feet of water now. It's kind of telling me in. I think it's a big shebe. I'm at 186 now and in like 300 feet it goes to 150 and I think that's about how much line I have out. So, I really need to get this thing in or get it up higher. The shallower I am, the more likely a shark is going to come and rip this thing to shreds. I've drifted into 140 now. Down at 30 feet. Can't see it yet. look at it. I think I saw a yellow. now and I'm seeing all kinds of crap on the fish finder. Check out the sickles on that.
pretty much where I ended up. I drifted about one mile during the fight. Which is really isn't that bad considering the last time I caught a 50 pound shibi. <laughs> I think like three and a half miles down the coast and then my pedal drive broke on the way back but that was awesome I hooked up in like 150 feet on the last bait that a coolie I thought it was a GT at first then I thought it was a shark at one point I was almost positive it was a shark but just kept finding it I felt the head shakes um, and just that slow bounce so I knew it was I knew it was a big yellowfin tuna, and then uh, when it hit the bait, like it came up, grabbed it. I put the reel in the gear. It went tight, and then it went slack. It seems like these bigger tuna, they come up, they grab it, they eat it, and then they turn the opposite direction. Anyway, the hookup was exactly the same in like shallow water, 150 feet. wasn't marking any bait, although I'm sure there was some around it fight probably lasted about 40 minutes, 35, 40 minutes. I was screwing around. All my GoPros were pretty much dead. Switching back and forth between the underwater camera and the, and then moving to the head cam, just so I had something to record. And then I switched out the battery on the pole cam, all while managing not to lose the fish or get sharked. It took me all the way out to almost 300 feet deep and then it brought me back in to almost 50 feet by the time I was cogging it. But overall, super cool fight, amazing day. I really can't believe I caught my first rainbow runner and then to top it off, a 50 something pound chibi, maybe 60 pounds. And then those three kavas earlier. Marking bait on the way in. <laughs> Go figure, 20 to 30 feet and 65 feet of water. All those fish in the bag. They're too fat to fit underneath my rod holders, so I didn't even try. But this will be alright. It'll just be slow going. 